Hey everyone, Dr. Yi here. I know a lot of you are very anxious about the release of the new TIS version, TIS 7, in June this year. So I got the official TIS study manual and I took a quick look at the introduction, just you know, some of the general information about TIS 7, along with some of the information provided on their website. So here I'm just gonna give you a very brief, a quick overview on some of the main changes. Now, it's not meant to be comprehensive because it would take me a lot of time to go through each subject area and each lesson. So what we're going to talk about here is, um, again, just a very general overview on what TS7 uh, is like. How is it different than TS6? Okay, so um, like I said, the new version is going to be TS7, and it will be introduced on June 3rd. So here is the website that you can get the official announcement. Now, honestly, there are some typos on their website in their study manual that just drive me nuts. But I think it's still helpful to go through the information on the website so that you know what the official kind of position is on this new version. So let's take a quick look at this website. Okay, so once you get to the website, this is what it looks like. Now, you can get a free uh, week study plan and tips. If you scroll down a little bit, you will see the announcement is here. So the uh, version seven exam will be released on June 3rd. And they're pretty clear that if you take the exam prior to June 3rd, it will still be the current version, version six. But if you take it on June 3rd or after, it will be version seven. And you can check out some of the information provided here. You click on that. Um, now the FAQs actually provide pretty helpful information uh, for instance, uh, there's a comparison here between TS6 and TS7. So let's take a look. Um, there's a little typo here. Uh, this is the older version, the current version, 2016. And the one on the left, this is 2022. This is TS7. Now, keep in mind that these numbers for TS7 do not include the pre-test items, which means you are going to get... 20 more questions on T's than what you have here. So these together, that's 150 questions, but you're gonna get 20 pretest questions that are not graded. And you're gonna get them randomly. You don't know which one is graded, which one's not graded. So uh, the message I posted on my channel, I added the pretest questions to each section so that you know how many total questions you will see on T's. Um, some information on the different uh, question types that you will see. I will talk about this on one of the slides. So, so don't worry, we are going to go into depth about the different types of questions. What drives me crazy is that they have inconsistent message. Right here, for supply answer items, they say um, answers may be text or numerical values. But in their uh, official study manual, it says answers are going to be numerical values. So this creates uncertainty, right? We don't know if we're going to get just numerical values, which is mentioned in the study manual, or are we going to get both text and numerical, which is, you know, according to the information here. So um, I'll have to do some digging and maybe I'll um, do their practice, practice tests to get a little bit more information. There's another piece of information that's pretty important, which is here. How long will schools accept my T6 exam scores? So that you can read this. And it sounds like if you have already taken T6 um, and get a good score, then you should not have to take T7. Uh, schools should accept either of the score, either T6 or T7. All right, and then there's some other information I'll let you read on your own. Um, and I'm gonna go back to the slides. So it can be hard to read the text, right? So I created a table and this lists all the different types of questions you're gonna see. Now the multiple choice question, that's the traditional type, right? Um, in the current TS version, TS6 questions you will see, they're all multiple choice questions. Now, for T7, this is still the most common type of question. Most of the questions will be multiple choice, but you are going to see some other types of questions as well. You're going to get multiple select. Now, this is probably the most difficult type of a question. 
because for multiple select, you have to select all the correct answers and not any of the wrong answers. So if you select two correct answers and the one wrong answer, you are gonna get zero because they do not provide any partial credit. So this is gonna be very hard. Supply answer, this is gonna be the second most difficult type of question because you have to enter a text or numeric response. So this is kind of like the filling the blank question. Now, according to the study manual, it says typically this question requires a calculation. So that seems to me um, it corresponds with a numeric response, but um, I want to be safe. So since their website talks about a text response, so I put it in here. So um, this way we're fully prepared. Ordering, um, this is, I don't think this is gonna be that much different than multiple choice questions. You are gonna drag the four options or five options um, into their correct order. Right? So instead of um, just clicking and choosing uh, an answer of choice, you have to do just a little bit more work to put things in the correct order. Um, again, they do not provide any partial credit. So if you just have you know, uh, two things or even just one thing in the wrong order, you're gonna get a zero. All right, the last one, um, hotspot. This is an image-based question. Usually they will give you two to five clickable areas and only one is correct. So this is not too hard, right? This is similar to multiple choice. The only difference is that you get an image and you have to identify the correct area. Okay, I made a comparison table um, to kind of help you visualize the changes in the number of questions for each of the four subject areas so that you can see for reading and science, there are fewer questions. So I have this green kind of down arrows to indicate the uh, decrease in the number of questions. And for math and English, you get a few more questions. Now, I suspect that some of the reading questions or, you know, the reading topics may have been moved to the English and language usage section, but that's just my suspicion. I will have to spend some time comparing the two study manuals to be sure of that. Um, it just looks to me a little bit kind of unlikely that they would drop a lot of the reading questions. So my guess is some of that, some of that um, is merged into the language usage section. But I will check everything and definitely let you know. Um, overall, the number, the total number of questions uh, still, it still doesn't change. For T7 used to have 170 questions, which includes the 20 pretest questions that are not graded. So um, hopefully this table is helpful. Um, I think it's better than the table they put on the T's website because first of all, it does not tell you um, the number of uh, pretest questions. So you think, oh, I'm gonna get um, 150 questions in 209 minutes, but you are actually getting 170 questions and 20 of them are just randomly selected and they're not going to be graded. So they don't go towards your total score. All right, so that's the table. Okay, so the take home message is that TS7 is going to be more difficult than TS6, in my opinion, in terms of the question type, right? You're gonna get some new question types and they're not just as simple as select, selecting one correct answer out of four. A lot of times you have to think about to really make sure which answer choice is correct. Um, you also need to rank things in the correct order by yourself. There are no choices for you to choose from. And for those questions, you cannot get partial credit. Either you are right, you are all right, or you are wrong and you're gonna get zero. Now for all the four sections, English section has the most increase of questions. So you're gonna see a jump from 28 questions to 37 questions. So it might be a good idea to um, spend a little bit time, a little bit more time on the English section when you prepare for a TC7. Now, based on all that information, I highly recommend taking TS before June 3rd, if possible, so that you still take the current version, which is a little bit easier than TC7 with just multiple choice questions. 
All right, that's all. So my plan is to go through each lesson. So I'm going to start with the science first and then reading and the possibly math uh, and English. I'm not really sure about those two sections. It depends on how busy I get um, at work. So um, I have started going through some of the lessons in science and there are definitely some changes that you need to be aware of, okay? I will do my best to update the videos, to post videos, but again, work has been crazy. So um, I can't really guarantee, but I will do my best. All right, I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, um, leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer them. All right.